Hey, what's up, what's up, what's up, YouTube? So today I'm doing some work on the trailer. Um, sorry if it, you feel a bit of wind. It's a bit windy today. So the plan was to install this number plate in here. It had to be just a simple task of sliding the number plate in like so there. But the, this number plate is a bit bigger on the uh vertical is it vertical horizontal vertical i think so so it's a bit big on the vertical size so it doesn't fit in there so the one thing i could do was to grind it here on top or at the bottom so that it can fit in but um there's gonna be just too much work to do so the other thing that i have to do is to install some signage on the trailer so this was planned to go in like this because it's also a bit big to, in, to, to fit in the space here so the plan was to rivet it here and then rivet it there or like that but this way i felt like it was going to leave a lot of space behind and clients might push it in uh, and then it will be a bit wobbly in here so i figured this way at least it will be a bit tighter even if it can squeeze in there it won't be as much so i decided you know what because since the number plate has got holes four holes that i can actually rivet so i'm gonna rivet this number plate on that side probably there i'll rivet the number plate there and then this signage i will put on here to cover the number plate holder so I'll rivet this guy here, here, at the bottom there, and at the bottom there. And then the number plate I will rivet in there. And that should do it. There should be an issue, so no grinding will be needed to sort that one out. And then I'm going to rivet these guys as well in there on the one side and our river again on this side so this is where the signs will go and then this one here i've already mentioned what i will do how's it youtube we back okay guys so i'm gonna start now with the number plate so the number plate is gonna go in there like that so what i'm going to do so i'm gonna need the number plate i'm gonna need a drill for the holes because i'm using this rivet size this is 4.8 by 8 mil so i think it's a 4.8 uh rivet head and here they say used worth 4.9 hss drill bit so i don't have a 4.9 but i do have a 4 which is this so i'll just make it bigger if it doesn't fit so that's that the other thing that i'll need is my g clamps that i recently got so i will use this to hold the number plate in place while i drill in and then obviously the rivet gun i'll need the rivet gun and then i'll also need the revel uh rivet i'll need the rivet uh the rivets actually and the rivet gun g clamp whatever i'm attaching and a drill to make the holes so let's place in our g clips Dang, the G, this G clip is a bit small in order to go through this. <sighs> okay, no biggie. I just have to find another way to do this. So, I'll just 
have to do it by hand guys so i know i need this guy in there looks level enough or maybe higher can even make it higher and about there that's fine and then i can do this So our first hole can be done there. I'm gonna increase the speed on here. You guys can see that but the hole is in so there's the hole that I drilled in there guys so the jitlam didn't work so I just somehow used that free hand so that it will go in like that so to see if the rivet can go in not yet it's still a bit small okay I think this will need a five mil hey guys so i'm back i got a five mil tail bit which i already put in there and so i'm just gonna make this a bit bigger there we go and that now goes in nice and smooth cool so i'm just gonna make templates of the other holes so this one go in like that in there put that there and then I will make the hole here I'll just hold it there <sighs> not doing anything let me see if I put it on drill This drill is not opening this hole here so I'll get the four open the hole and increase it again with this one so put that there let me get the other drill bit hey Okay, got the other drill bit. Take it back to drill. Why is this drill bit? bank now
little bit broken but that's fine I will get that drill bit for steel I'll get that drill bit for steel How's it, how's it YouTube? So eventually I got it in there, there So I only perforated it just twice Not there, it still holds uh, Because there's chances I might change the number plate in future So I don't want to make it too permanent and have too many holes when I take the other one out and then on this side I have the G clamps on there um, and so I will start to pop rivet one day one day and then inside as well so that it's all nice and tight so I'll just drill the holes and pop rivet and then I'll show you guys as soon as I'm done as well as the other ones that I have to put on the side that I showed you. How's it, how's it, how's it, guys? Okay, so, like I number plate is done, it's sorted, riveted in. And now the first signage is in. There's the rivet there, the rivet is there, the rivet is there, the rivet is there. So it's nice and tight. It's not going anywhere. So we're all good on that front. So... I have now placed this guy now in place. This is the next one that's going on. So it's also four, one, two, three, four, and then on the other side, and then that should be that. So how's it, how's it, how's it guys? So I am complete with the signage. It's all in, the side is in, there we go. This side I already showed you, number plate is in, signage there it's in. And this side is also in. So I showed you guys now how you can use this G clamps I was using rubber so that they don't damage the surface here so just using rubber this is just normal carpet that I cut off and then G clamp that's the one I used and then I show you guys how I was also using the 
rivet gun so that's that guys i hope somewhere somehow it was able to help you or be informational and again guys like i've only said in my diy videos i am not a specialist in whatever i am doing i'm just a guy making it work and that's what i did that it's in with my knowledge that i have and that's how i do it thanks for watching guys keep good keep great stay awesome be awesome i'll see you on the next one